everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you're going to join me today. I have a lot to go over. It's not going to be a whole long of a video, but it's going to be impactful for sure. So definitely stick with this. Us. Who's us? Is there two of me here? Am I speaking Gemini? I don't know. What the heck? Anyways. I have some political readings, some subscriber suggestions, some things I've never done before. This is a remote view with a follow-up with tarot cards. So yeah, this should be good. All right, so first up is the uh, killer of the four Idaho students in the University of Idaho, all right? So somebody wants to, says, can you look at Brian? And I have no idea how to pronounce his last name. Kohlberger, I probably butchered that. However, the one who killed the four Idaho students. I'd like to know if he's a misogynist who was motivated by that hateful online rhetoric. So what I'm going to do, I remember doing before he was caught, I do. Uh, I did a remote view and I saw his piercing eyes. And the moment I saw that photo, I'm like, yeah, that's him. And that dead stare and those piercing. And I thought that they were blue and they were in fact blue eyes that I saw. But I, uh, yeah, when they caught him, I saw the picture. I'm like, yep, there he is. There's, there's the guy. So people want to know if he was affected by the hate and stuff like that. I don't know if that'll come up. You know, I, I don't know what spirit has in store for us, but I am going to take a deep breath and just remember I am protected. All I'm doing is hovering, taking a look. I am in zero danger. I may not like what I see, but I'm in zero danger. And I will always tell you what I see. So um, warning. Beep, 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 beep. Maybe some sensitive uh, stuff is coming. So you've been warned. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ugh. I don't know why, but the first up, I'm seeing him in a in a dark room with the but the room is green and white, look like camouflaged green and white colors it's intermixed together like a pattern and he's dark entity and he's sitting on his couch in the dark with the walls maybe it is camouflage color maybe it is military come to think about it i think it is military representing military camouflage as i look at the wall and he's just sitting there. So that's the first scene up. He's sitting up. All black. I mean, the, the image is dark black, not he's wearing black. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for something else to kind of show up. Um, sitting there. I think he's sleeping. I think that's the way he slept. Sitting on the, I think that's how he slept. In the dark, he never laid down. That's bizarre. I'm literally not moving forward at all. Okay, finally. I'm starting to see a young man's face, like a child playing in a field or playing outside with other children. Long, linky, he's playing. It looks like it to be maybe uh, in the middle of winter, but he's not wearing a coat, maybe fall. Um, he's just playing outside. This is weird. And he's going into his house. Looks like a normal childhood house. Maybe two story. Has an old car sitting in the driveway. 
But he's going into the house. And the house is like really filthy. Really filthy, like hoarder filthy. And he walks in. And it's like a two-tier where you can go upstairs and you can go downstairs. Now the downstairs, it looks like he's looking to see if maybe somebody's down there. My guess is parents or somebody looking down there to see. He sees them. Whoever's sitting down there is has a beer, smoking cigarettes. And he tries to sneak upstairs. Trying not to be seen. And he finally gets to his room and he closes his room. Door. And he has, I'm trying to look at his walls. He does have pictures of army men with guns. This is looking a lot like, I mean, they're just taped up there. They're not professionally done or anything. They're just taped up. And I'm looking all around his room. It's it's dirty as well. It's not clean at all. He has, he opens up a drawer. Knives, like specialty knives. I don't see any, like a gun for him anywhere but slingshot I see a slingshot I don't know this doesn't seem the right um era it doesn't seem like the right era it seems like in the, maybe in the 60s or 70s I don't know why it feels so old I'm looking back at him and he just lays down on his bed with his hands behind his head, staring at the ceiling. As I'm looking at the ceiling, he has destroyed the ceiling. I don't know what he, what's on the ceiling, but it's like spec, like maybe he's shot it. It darts at it or something, but it's, it's been terrorized. It's not a clean ceiling at all. I don't know. I'm trying to get some substance here, but they're showing me. But it doesn't feel like the right era, and I can't figure out why. I cannot understand why it's not in the right time frame. It shouldn't be back in the 70s. That's where it's at. Maybe it's a representation where his mind is. I don't know. It's really weird. I'm trying to go forward with it. I'm trying to get out of these scenes. And they just won't pull me out. I can't get out of this old timey scene. So I'm going to come out. I don't think that answered any questions, but that was really weird where he was stuck in the, like in the seventies, it looked like. Okay. Let's do some cards on him. See if there's any explanation as to what's going on. Maybe somebody in the chat or in the, who is watching this can, can understand. Maybe there's something that you're, seeing or noticing that I'm not, I would love for you to post that down in the comments section. Let's have a discussion. Let's open it up for interpretation, right? All I can tell you is what I see. I was wondering if it may have been his father or something, but I kept on asking and it was for sure him. It was for sure him. No doubt in my mind it was him. Just placed back in the old times. Okay. 
Here we go. Interesting. So what the what the cards came up was the fertility, the mother. The fertility, the mother, and then the conflict. He was conflicted, the mother, the conflict, conflicted with parents, conflicted with their old thinking, maybe. But he was in conflict in that home, for sure. And then he started going mentally ill. And it looks like he was offered treatment, but he didn't keep it or take it or something, but he was offered treatment for his mental illness. I, I just got a great big, a huge hit of his mental illness. It is, it's more like psychosis, not schizophrenia. He has a hard time moving into the right here, right now. Hmm. That's it. That's his mental illness. He cannot be right here, right now. He is not present. Oh, that's probably why I went back there. All right. That's the uh, Brian Holberger. Uh. He is the one who murdered the University of Idaho students. So, so apparently De Satan is uh, moving forward with his uh, dictatorship and making sure Florida is all his. He's going to be president. He's going to be president of something. And he's avoiding the conversation of him being president. In fact, I just saw a thing where he was kind of like chuckling and laughing at it. Like, I won't need to run for president. That's it. That was chilling to me. They have a secret agenda and it was just chilling to me. I saw something that I haven't seen before on him. Like, I won't have to run for president. I will be placed as president. Thank you very much. That was my whole take on that. Um, when he kind of chuckled when somebody asked him if he was going to run for president. So the question is, um, what is what is going to happen to stop to stop to Satan? Uh, when will he be forced to step down from his so-called governing of Florida? So. I'm going to do remote on to Satan and see what happens. I don't know if I've, it hasn't, it's been a while. The last time I did a remote on him, he was placed out into the ocean in a dinghy boat. And he was looking around like, what, what, what just happened? What just happened? Like he was just left out there. So who knows? Uh, I don't think that has come true. That could be coming true Maybe at the presidency, maybe how they take him down. I don't know. But let me take a deep breath and see. I'm seeing white. So I'm trying to get past the whole white like a bright light, like a blinding bright light. That's exactly what's happening to me. The light is so shiny that I can't see anything else. That's an interesting metaphor. I don't know why it won't move me past that, but it's literally the light is blinding me from seeing anything in the scene. <sighs> Come on, it's in a, so the the scene that I'm at, I'm, I'm, I'm like in a great big old huge, if you've ever been to Vegas, I feel, I feel like I'm in a great big old huge casino building. That's what it kind of reminds me of, pillars and white, and it's great big, huge, like a casino 
building outside. I'm outside. Like the big old huge steps. Not the White House, but it's the huge steps going down into the street. That's what they're showing me. Hmm. He's dressed in a tuxedo. He has very sparkly cuffs button the the thing that you put on cuffs that's very shiny i see him he's at a podium but this podium is set in the dark and then there's a light on the on the podium like the only thing you can see is his hands his cuffs but you can tell that it the, the well, there's enough light that he that's him and he's in a tuxedo he's in a penguin tuxedo that that which is really weird to me like he has the tails, has the cummerbund, everything. The top hat. Maybe they're showing me as the magician. It very well could be. I'm trying to get close enough to see what he's doing. He's writing names on lists. I can't see the names, but he has like one, two, three, four lists and he has something in his hand. Maybe it's his phone and he's looking through his phone and he's writing a list on a, a name on this list and he's going through his phone and he's writing a name on this other list and he's going through his phone. So I don't know what this is. This is what he's doing at the podium as he's dressed as a penguin. While there's only a lamp. And that's what he's doing. This is weird. Okay. I'm going to leave him and I'm going to go out into uh, the Florida people. And see how they're doing. Everybody's, you know, walking around, doing whatever they're doing. Okay. Nobody's paying attention. If I have to be honest. I'm trying to go into the schools and see how the teachers, the teachers are just... They're crying. They're very upset. The parents are being mean. The teachers are stressed out. The students are running wild. I mean, I'm in this school. This is exactly the scene. The, stu the students are, are just crazy. They're just running amok. I mean, you don't have to talk to me. I don't have to pay attention to you. I don't know. The teachers don't look like young people. They look like old, old people, like with a bun, the red bun in the back, gray hair. They None of the teachers look young. Mm. My goodness. Mm. The homeless population, all I see is a lot of people walking around with blankets wrapped around them. Dirty, hair a mess, blankets, shorts. Most of them are barefoot. There's a huge homeless, literally. I just see homeless population. Okay. I don't know. All right, I'm out. All I'm doing is getting a visual of what 
Florida kind of looks like right now. Let me see what the cards say as to when they're going to get done and over with all that. I wonder what those names were though. Why was he doing that? Still stuck on why the name, why he was doing the names. He's trying to hang compassion. That's for sure. The compassionate people come out. The compassionate king comes out. King the the king of cups. The compassionate king, but the hangman comes with it. He's going to try to give everybody a different perspective on that magician. Diplomacy. Why is he, what is the magician, this, the sickness? This is inverted. Really? Inner resources, struggling, overwhelmed, decisive, paranoia. He's paranoid. He is trying to mitigate his paranoia. He's getting paranoid. Why is he paranoid? Strength is also inverted. Abuse of power. Weakness. And he is really paranoid about what they're going to come against him for the presidency. Oh, this man is paranoid. Okay. Long-term view. He is trying to set forth, it doesn't matter what they say about me, I'm going to get it. That's why he thinks he is doing the best that he can to literally say, I'm not going to be elected. I'm going to be put in as president. All right. I've got to find out how bad his story really is, what they really know on him. I got to know. This man is stressed. Okay, let's see what else is up. He's going to be fighting back all of the rumors, everything that they're going to throw at him. He's really worried about this. Um, he's collaborating with team members trying to mitigate this. Is is maybe this is a list of all the people that know something that need to go, need to be hit, need to be talked to. That's what the list is. You need to go talk to them. Shut them up. Shut them up. Shut them up. That's the team. That's the team of lawyers. Going to each person. Each somebody that knows. Somebody that knows. His will of fortune. Her, this is actually the will of fortune. Superficial reality. Superficial. conflict what's going on there mr de satan yep he's had some relationships that he should not have had new relationships he's had some relationships he should not have had um, he was he was a wild one and he did some stuff that he should never have done. Well, well, well. Abundance. He was, yeah. Okay, enough on to Satan. Mm. All right, so if somebody's asked me, is Epstein alive? Is he living in the islands of Puerto Rico? All right. So a long time ago, when I first started my, my channel, 
right? I was doing my pendulum. And I asked my pendulum, has it has there ever been an autopsy done on uh on Epstein? I said no. I've always believed that Epstein was not dead. One thing that really dominates me the most is that one scene where he's on the gurney and his face is showing. People who have passed, they cover up their head. That got me from the get-go. The feeling that I think that he's alive, I do. I, I absolutely do think. But that's a controversy all onto itself. I will do cards, I will do cards for the very, very last time on Epstein and what I think. I know that um, I had said that he was probably still alive. And then a couple of months later, um, Cash Peters was trying to do a crossing for him and he couldn't get him to cross, like uh, alluded to that he was probably still alive. Yeah. So that's my thinking on that. I have never gotten that he was dead. I still do not get that the man is dead. My thinking on that, because he's delusional, is that he had he, he had plastic surgery done on his face to have him look like a different person. And literally, he probably planned that long, long before he got caught. If I ever got caught, this is the plan. So do I think he's still alive? Yes. Do I think he doesn't look like Epstein? Absolutely. He's gotten some plastic surgery to make him look completely different. Is he living his life doing it all over again to other girls? You betcha. Anybody can take a coroner's report when you give them enough money. Anybody can fake a death certificate when you give them enough money and they have participated in his little fantasy in Florida. Anybody. You can pay anybody to do anything in this country as blackmail. So there's that. Really? Look at this. Can't beat this. Determined. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that at all. <laughs> Any words that strong, courage, independent, determined, outgoing. Second card with that, the hermit. Third card with that, the devil. All right. Enough about Epstein. All right, so I'm not going to do a remote view on this one, but this one here, I'm going to throw some cards. Somebody wants to know if the derailments are on purpose. I don't feel like they are. I really don't feel like they are. I think it's karma. When you don't maintain something, you don't have enough people to take care of your railroads and you're not following the regulations because you want to line your own pocket. I think it's karma. But I don't think it was done on purpose. But let me see what the cards say. Apparently, there were three. You'll have to look that up. Were they? I'm just going after the the big one in in oh in I in uh, Ohio. I don't know why I want to keep on saying Idaho, but I do. It's not that power. <laughs> well, this is weird. So I have I have chaos and revenge, violence, force. The chaos of the railroad created the the derailment, the cover-up, the not wanting to take responsibility, you know, the railroad companies. 
I mean, to interpret this, like the chaos within there is in the, in the people who caused it, the executives, right? And then it says future planning and progress, future planning and progress. Was this an insurance hopeful? Disappointment and abandonment. These are the people who are working for them. Uh, they started to be very disappointed in the country and I mean, in the, um, in the company. And so they started to walk away looking for something different because of the chaos and the, the evil greed, the greed of the company. I think it was just a chain reaction of a whole bunch of unfortunate events that created the the devastation that we're experiencing there that Ohio is experiencing right now. And you know it's going to affect everybody. I'm not we're I'm not under any delusionment that this uh is only going to affect people in Ohio. It's going to affect the whole country and in in our food production uh in the air quality in the water quality all of it uh, watching the people suffer i mean that's hard enough as it is it does feel like insurancy but i don't think i don't think it was like somebody set the house on fire to get insurance money kind of a thing but it's almost like it 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 has to fit a certain criteria for them to receive insurance. Like it cannot be their fault. Maybe the governor knows that. Maybe the governor is being lined with their pockets. I mean, I mean, the company is lining the governor with his pockets. Let me say that right. Yeah, something's fishy. Not on the up and up. But I don't think it was done on purpose. All right. So as we end up with uh, everybody's hoping for some indictments coming from the Georgia prosecutors. So I'm going to throw some cards, see where we're at with the uh, indictments. All right. Let's see what's going on with the indictments in Georgia. I kind of feel I did a remote I did a, a reading a while back that says they're going to take down everybody around him. That's what they're doing. Um, you know, like Mark Meadows and, and Giuliani and I mean he they're they Jack is just getting everybody in his peripheral, getting closer and closer and closer to him. Getting closer. And of course, the harder and the more pressure they put on Trump, though, the more everybody is against him and how horrible they are. And, you know, he spews some really terrible stuff. But let's see. Let's see what we got. Do a full on Celtic cross about this. I Ace of Cups. What they're worried about is it going dormant, laying low, stopping. They have plenty, Ace of Cups, they have plenty of evidence, but they're, what crosses them is somebody shutting it down. Another Ace of Pentacles, they have the money. Another Ace of Wands, that's three Aces, people. Ace on the top, bottom, coming into this, the attraction to it suffering anxiety going in the fear going forward tower moment for trump hard working king of pentacles giving and receiving and sharing generosity that's that looks like a deal like deals are being made you do this abundance and luxury oh lord have mercy teamwork still not at the end yet but there's three aces, meaning they have a powerful case against them. But I don't see anything just yet. I don't see anything that says indictments. I was hoping 
I was hoping, oh my gosh, the next card was the last ace. The ace of, that's four aces, people. And in the position of Trump is the tower. Well, maybe that does say indictments. Four indictments, four ace in the hole, four sharp attorneys, four people around him. Mm. The charity is the people making deals. So there's some deals being made. King of Pentacles is they're getting the money that they need. Maybe it's all, and maybe they'll get fined. I don't know. But they also have the Knight of Pentacles or the hard work. Yeah. Maybe the four aces, which is unreal. I've never had four aces come out in a reading app that I can think of. <sighs> Anyways. All right. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for always, always, always watching all of my videos. And I hope to see you in the next one.